Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of Eric Told Hill. At the end of episode 13, a man had been speaking to Cassandra late at night. He promised to call her back, but I'd gone to bed, so I disconnected from Skype. I'm going to bed now, good night, said Cassandra when the call had ended. He tried calling her back, but of course I'd gone to bed. OK, he's late over there, have a good night, rest, OK? And I'm sorry for being on top of my voice. Mind you, it's all getting dangerous here each and every day, so I really need to leave out from here. When Lola is kicking against it, do make me feel sad and angry. But it's OK, I'm sorry, I'm calm now. Have a good night, rest, and sweet dreams, OK? If she really did want to help me, you can instruct her to make the payment in the morning. And please, tomorrow is the deadline for the payment. Please, dear, I do love you and I want to be with you as soon as possible. Every morning feels like a blessing because I have you in my life. I need nothing more in my life. Good morning, my sweetheart. Just a gentle nudge to remind you of your extraordinary nature and the profound love I hold for you. Good morning, my beautiful. May your coffee be strong and your day be filled with positivity. And he sent her some roses. Good morning, said Cassandra. I'm so excited. Wills and Lola are leaving this morning and flying to Dubai this afternoon. They've offered to pay for me to go with them for a few days. That's so kind of them, isn't it? We're going to go into town on the way so I can buy a few last minute things to take with me. Lola says she'll go into the bank while we're there. Thanks, and I will be grateful, he said. As they board the plane, today, God protection to your son, your daughter-in-law and your grandchild. Amen. Of course, no grandchildren have so far been mentioned. Hello, dear. He tried calling her. Whenever you're online, please send me a text. It's urgent. And I feel I need to let you know this so that you stay very careful with everyone that is around you, dear. Love you. And when you come online, let communicate. Why did he need to communicate with Cassandra? Because he'd been speaking to Lola. Hello. Hello. Hello, Lola. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. I'm in the bank. Okay. Yeah, okay. What I want to ask you is, um, what's the name of uh, of the of okay. your agent again? It's John. John who? Only one name. What is this? No. That should be John Williams. John Williams? He told me yeah. another name. You Just don't you don't know his name. Normally he told me his name is John because I don't I don't work with him directly. I work with the UN, so they are just agents working around the UN. Ah That's and, why. and you as a general you talk to people with uh, only the first name. John. John from the left, John from the right. I'm so sorry. You are sorry. Well, uh, you know I'm, you know I'm in the war zone, okay? And uh, ah, because like this. because you are in a war zone, you speak to people only with the first name, John. A uh, John from somewhere. Yes, you are uh, with me, but you lost uh, your words somewhere in the forest, in the bush. You don't have the words with you. Search for your words and what, don't waste my time. So again, uh, your agent name. Agent name should be John. Ah, you changed the um, you changed the name. Okay, because I will send the, the money on uh, his name. So John who? That should be John Beham of which the name should be on the company. The company name is what you send it the details. So I sent you the details. Yeah, I have no. the I have the bank account, no problem, but uh, I will send uh, I will send the, the money <laughs> on his name. John uh, Okay, John Williams, you said. Let's speak this name, you John have, Williams. Okay. But you, yeah, but you don't send it. You don't send it. The, the 
money in the bank account. I send you the details already. Yeah, the details, but um, the name is not uh, is not good. Uh, so I will send the, the money. Bank account, the bank yeah, account I have name it. is Joyce. This is Joyce Online Solution. That is a bank account name. So if you send it, you send it under the bank account names. Because yeah, the bank account. From. Yes, the bank account name you just told me is John Williams. I'll send the money on John Williams. No problem. That's not the bank account name. Yes, this is the bank account. I send name. you the details. Yes, yes, you send it. But the name is John Williams. You just told me. Okay. The bank account name is John. Thank you. Is. Oh, you just saw. You just saw your I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and what I want to ask you is, uh, my uh, my mother-in-law told me this morning uh, that you told her that I should go to hell. What can you tell me about that? Can we stick keep off that and make peace? What can you tell me about that? You told her can yesterday. You you told her yesterday, you talked to her on the phone, last night, and you told her that I should go to hell. What can you tell me about that? I don't know why you're saying that to me. I have said it before now. Sometimes, you know I'm so mad and I'm angry because I really want to get out of here as soon as possible. So... I said that because, because? I'm on, on an angry mood. Ah, you are on angry. an angry mood, but you need my help. But you told her that I should go to hell, right? I'm sorry. 20 times in a row, I'm sorry. I'm counting. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, 20 times, you said no, I'm sorry. Go on. No, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for that. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. And I said, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry. Okay. Okay, I have to, to talk to the lady here. So, the name is, uh, the name is uh, John Williams. The name is Johnson Online Solution. That's the details I sent to you, please, so that there won't be no mistake, okay? Please. That's the name of the company. That's what you're sending in the account name. You are not sending it to someone. It's a company, which is the UN approved that company for receiving payment. Okay. Only what, only what John normally did is to confirm the payment. That's all. But you sending the money to Jones, Jones Online Solution. Okay. If you can see the details over there. Okay. So please, I'm sorry for the fight and my anger. And I, I will be really, really happy to, to see you as soon as I get all this done. Okay? Yeah, I'm very sure about that. Okay, we'll speak later. Okay, thank you. Hello. 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 Are you sure the payment details you? No, why should I? Mm. Yes. Hello. You should check the payment details in the receipt you sent to me is like 150 pounds. Yeah, 150 pounds. 
You will talk to Cassandra and you will say her that I sent you all the money. Okay? What do you mean? I mean that I will um, fly to Dubai, I need the money to go shopping, and I sent you 150 pounds. You will tell Cassandra that I sent you all the money. Okay? That's so funny. No, no, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. You have to tell her like that. When I, I have to tell her like that? Yes. What do you mean? You don't understand. It seems you don't understand what I'm saying here. You have to tell her that I sent you 15,000 pounds. Okay? When I come back from Dubai, maybe, I will send you something more. Maybe. For the moment, I sent you 150 pounds. Okay? Did you hear me? Gerald! Did you hear what I said? I don't have anything to say. You have to say like that. Yes, I will tell Cassandra that I sent you, that you received all the money. Your line is breaking. I can't hear you. Your line was breaking. I didn't hear you. So all you did now is you lying to her right now. You telling me you sent one fifty pounds, and that is not what the UN is asking for. Yes. That sounds so ridiculous. I don't know. Are you telling me I should tell Cassandra yes. that you sent the whole money? Yes. You have to tell what her that. What to you? You have to tell her you like that. Have you don't need me to say that because I can't tell her a lie and I don't know how to lie about things. You send that and that is not the money that I need to use for me to live right here. You sending, instead of you sending 50,000 pounds, you said you're going to use the money for shopping. Yes. Have you to be traveling every day? You have been traveling all your life. So what is important for me to make use of living right here? You using it for shopping. And you said I should take Sandra no problem. That is, I will only tell her the truth. I will just send her. Okay, I will go. Okay, if you don't tell her like that, I will go now to the bank. I will cancel the transaction, and also I will tell her that I sent you all the money. I have your payment receipt here. This is the payment receipt. I'll forward the payment receipt to him. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. I can. I can tell her that you faked it. Ah, oh, man, of course wasn't happy. Tried calling Cassandra, but I was out. Whenever you're online, please send me a text. It's urgent, he said, and I feel I need to let you know this so that you stay very careful with everyone that's around you, dear. Love you. When you come online, let communicate. Hello, we're just about to leave to drive to the airport. Are you alone, he said, because just want to talk to you for five to seven minutes. That's if you don't mind. OK, I'm upstairs in my bedroom. And so he called her. For once, he was fairly brief, mainly because Cassandra didn't say anything. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Morning, dear. How are you doing? Hey, fine, thank you. I'm just packing a few last-minute things and putting my toilet bag together. Can't even get my teeth in this morning. I'm putting my toilet bag together. Okay, I understand. Oh, why wow. I was calling you? I don't want you to feel curious about this. And I don't want you to feel about this, okay? Can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. I don't want you to feel curious about this, and I don't want you to feel angry about this, because this is an important message I want to pass to you. Okay? Yes, you said that but three times now. Okay, about your daughter Elo. So, so while I'm saying this, 
Either you believe it or you don't believe it, but I'm going to say it. And I'm so sorry if you find it difficult or you say I am saying something wrong. But I will tell you the truth for you to know. Do you know what she did in the bank? They have no idea. Paid you, I would imagine. Okay. She did not send the money. Do you know what she did? No, she no, sent, no. She sent only 150 pounds. Then she told me, I am telling you this not for you to tell her, because I don't want any argument within you and her. I just want you to use wisdom, because you're mature enough to use the wisdom. She told me that I should tell you that she sent all the money. She categorically told me that, because after that she called me, and she sent me a receipt of 150 pounds instead of 15,000 pounds. I'm going for the receipt to you. But I don't want you to bounce into argument, argument with her. I want you to use wisdom on this. She said only 150 pounds. She caused confusion on this. She said only 150 pounds. And she categorically told me to tell you that I tell you that she sent the whole 15,000 pounds. That's what she instructed me to tell you. So I'm just categorically telling you this because I don't lie about things. And I'm going to send you the receipt immediately. So now they are about to go. I don't want to drag anything. And I don't want you to argue anything with her. She is so corny. And she is doing this on purpose. I don't know if you are the one that tell her to do that. But I believe that you are the one instructing her to do that. She categorically told me I should tell you that you have sent the 15,000 pounds. She sent me the receipt. The receipt you sent me is 150 pounds. So I'm going to forward it to you. And I don't want you to be in an argument with her. You have to use maturity. You know she's already married with your son. So you use maturity to treat all this. But she's calling for to say that. And I'm so really disappointed in her for her to come so low doing that. When you have already instructed her, and she knows that you need to send 50,000 pounds. She sent only 150 and told me to pass a message to you that the 15,000 pounds have been sent. I believe I've got the call right now, and I'm going to send you the receipt. She sent me 150 pounds. And she told me, yes, she wants to use the remaining money for shopping. That's what she told me. She said, I want to use the remaining money for shopping. That I should tell you that she sent the complete 15,000 pounds. How that sounds to you? I'm, I'm going to send you a receipt for confirmation so that you won't feel maybe I'm just saying it for saying it. So let me send you a receipt for you to see. Okay? Okay. Okay. When the call had ended, he sent Cassandra a copy of the bank receipt that Lola had sent to him. Can you see it now, he said. We're just getting in the car. I'll ask Lola what happened. I might not have a phone signal once we're on the motorway. Just trade with caution with her. Thank you. She will definitely lied to you that she sent the money. Just trade carefully with her. Thanks. Love you. Safe on the way. Love you. We just checked in at the airport. Some awful tow rag stole one of Lola's phones while we were dropping off our suitcases. She had it in her pocket. The one she uses for her banking, not the one she has for WhatsApp. It's such a nuisance for her, poor thing. She has to contact the bank when we arrive in Dubai. She's frozen her card so the thieves can't use her account. She assures me that she sent you £15,000 when she was in the bank this morning. And you believed her? Who would you believe, a foul-mouthed bully you met online or your own daughter-in-law? He sent her again, the copy of the receipt that Lola had sent him. Thanks for your words, he said, in reply to her saying, who would he believe? You're very welcome, replied Cassandra, even I know how to alter documents. I'm not that easily fooled, because of course... Cassandra believes that he's altered the amount on that document. I've told you, but it seems you didn't believe my words, like I said. Thanks, I don't want to argue with you on this, because I already know her intentions, because she made it known to me on call, and her intentions are bad, whether you believe me or not. Then Lola texted our man and said, I just called the bank and I cancelled it. You're just stupid. You'll get nothing. You lost your chance. That, of course, upset our man, 
who sent Cassandra screenshots of his conversation with Lola. And here it is. Here's the bit where Lola told him what I've just read to you. Can you see? I received this message from her just after you, me, all this. Do you know why? Because she knows what she did. And I must tell this, she played you by saying that her phone was stolen while dropping off her suitcase. And secondly, try solve this mathematical equations. I'm very well acquainted with matters mathematical. I understand equations both as simple and quadratical. You said her banking phone was the one that is stolen. Her WhatsApp phone is save. Then just see what I will send you now. He said, sending a screenshot of where Lola had originally sent him the bank receipt. This is her WhatsApp phone, he said. How and where did she send me the payment receipt of £150? She said that to you just to make you believe, whereas she has everything there with her. Because she categorically tells me to say lies to you that she sent it. Why telling me that she sent £150? that she want to use the money for shopping in Dubai. This is how wicked she is. So she had to lie to you about other phone being stolen just to make you believe. And you believe because I didn't mean anything. The last message she sent is a result that I told you the truth. So she had to play a game just to make you believe her because she didn't want to send you proof of sending £15,000. Simple. And you believed. You didn't even think, why did she not send you the receipt through her WhatsApp phone since she has to send me there? Smile, just trade carefully with her. Just an advice. Lola and I pondered what our next move was. And while we were thinking about it, and of course, on the plane to Dubai, Lola sent our man this voice message. Hey, five-star general. You're very stupid. What did I tell you? Not to tell Cassandra. You told her. Good luck for you then. You will not get even those 150 pounds. Because you were stupid. And honestly speaking, I don't think you are the general. You are just, you are just a boy who cleans toilet. You are the boy from the cleaning. You clean, you clean toilets there in the camp. Idiot. You are a very, very, very big idiot. Hello, my love. Hope you're doing great, he said a bit later. Seems you haven't been online for a while now. And then the rat sent her that message that Lola had left him. Adding underneath, It's obvious you're fast asleep or tired. Have a good night rest, love. Love you. Kiss, kiss. And lots of hearts, kisses and hugs. Having just betrayed her daughter-in-law. What a nasty, gaslighting, narcissistic bully this man is. And then... Cassandra hopped on her email before she went to bed and found this glorious email from our friend at the United Nations. Hello, Major General Eric T. Hill. Sorry to say, with all instructions and rules and regulations associated to the laws of the UNF, you are hereby disapproved of your leave. Since you and your wife-to-be couldn't make payments in getting your UN preceding leave documents approved in lines with the legal requirements of your leave, two exclamation marks. Rescheduled can be done, if it is done with all appropriate aims, and we lead to huge cost due to your first negligence of the rules and regulations of the law of the UNF. Look forward for reschedule by Sergeant Agent. Cassandra woke up to the usual loving rubbish from our man. Your love is the compass that guides me through the labyrinth of life. Good morning, my guiding light. The world may be bustling, but in my heart it is eternally serene. Just like a tranquil morning with you. Good morning, my love. Hope you slept well and dream peacefully. Wake up and shine, said our man who'd sent that recording, presumably in the hope of deeply upsetting Cassandra. He added a photograph of two people kissing under a duvet. He tried calling her. Good morning, said Cassandra a bit later. Afternoon, really, but my body is still on UK time. Hope you've taken your coffee. They don't drink coffee. OK, he said, and tried calling her. But by then, I was on a Zoom call with some friends. So, what are your plans today? Though it's weekend, you still must have some certain things you want to set on today, dear. 
tried calling her several times more. Seems you went out. In back, I said when our Zoom call had finished. We went to the Mall for a quick lunch. It's a bit too hot for me, so I came back. We? Yes, we. There are three of us. You and who? Grow up. Who do you think? Please, why can't you just tell me? When did you ever answer a question without telling me I should know the answer? I've been taking lessons. I thought you said they travelled to Dubai yesterday. Awesome. That's why I'm asking who you went out with. Some random dude I met on the street in Dubai in his minder. Who do you think? Sometimes you make me understand. Did you go with them to Dubai? Well, duh. Why do you think we all checked in at the airport? Why do you think they bought me a plane ticket? But you never told me you're following them to Dubai. But it's OK. Miss you. I tried doing a screenshot of the bit where Cassandra had said they all checked in at the airport. But it doesn't seem to work very well on Skype. Like I said, it's OK. So then Cassandra replied to the bit where she'd said, they've offered to pay for me to go with them for a few days. That's so kind of them, isn't it? I'm happy you're having good time over there. I believe that is why you couldn't write to me yesterday. It's all good. We need to speak to the sergeant agent from the UN, please, said Cassandra, because Lola and I had been pondering what we could do next. This man is completely unguidable, unlike Mike Burr Thomas and, to an extent, John Kelvin. This chap just doesn't listen, and he goes off on long-winded ramps. But he takes no notice of what you've actually said to him, so we didn't really feel we could guide this bait in any particular direction. I'd pondered saying to him, that I knew that recording was AI and that he'd photoshopped the receipt, but decided to say this instead. We need to speak to the sergeant agent from the UN, please. He writes like a semi-literate street kid. All that rubbish about there being a huge cost if you reschedule. Sounds like it was written by a six-year-old. He doesn't even have the courtesy to use his own name. Dear, I'm not fighting you of anything. Then please tell the UN that we need a contact number so we can call them, and we need them to find an employee who can write a proper business-style email, not the office cleaning boy. Dear, I didn't want to say anything in regards of all that any more. You got what you and your daughter-in-law wanted, and it's clear that you're the one instructing her to do all she's doing, but it's OK. In that case, you'd better stay where you are. Goodbye. I don't want to talk about that. Like I said, what do you want to talk about? Because our relationship is over. I have faith in you, and I love you so much. No, you don't, otherwise you wouldn't act like a foul-mouthed bully. I never for once make you feel like a bad person. You wouldn't let some idiotic street kid from the UN send those idiotic emails, so our relationship is at an end. Goodbye. And that was meant to follow on from what she'd said before. She'd meant to say, otherwise you wouldn't act like a foul-mouthed bully. You wouldn't let some idiotic street kid from the UN send those idiotic emails. Because my love for you is very genuine. No, it isn't. No one that truly loved me would act like a foul-mouthed ranting bully. There's a way of doing things. If you have faith for someone, you do all things to make that person happy. You are a foul-mouthed, narcissistic ranting bully. Not with fight and with struggle, we were cross-posting. So, in reply to him saying, if you have faith for someone, you do all things to make that person happy, Cassandra replied, Going off on foul-mouthed, bullying rants is not a way to make me happy. You are a foul-mouthed, ranting bully. That is not the behaviour of someone that loves me. And I believe I've told you sorry for that many times. No, you have not, said Cassandra, because I think he'd apologised to Lola several dozen times. And you've continued to do it. Saying sorry doesn't change the fact that you are a foul-mouthed, ranting bully. I have stopped that since, he said. And to demonstrate that he had, or not, he called her. And I think perhaps I should warn you, if you've ever been the victim of a gaslighting narcissist, you might find this call rather triggering. Good morning. Hello again. Good morning. I sincerely hope you're not about to go off on one of your foul-mouthed bullying rants. I have told you earlier on that enough of that, and I said sorry to you, bro. Yes, saying sorry doesn't change the fact that that is what you are, a foul-mouthed, ranting bully. You have been since we first met. You're not a baby. You're not well, you are a baby, obviously, nor are you meant to be a child. You're supposed to be a mature adult army officer. I, mean, I, I never to forget who you're uh, meant to be, but, you know, that's what you're meant to be. And if you haven't learned proper behaviour with a lady by now, you're not going to change, are you? 
I've already told you that I don't want to stress that anymore. Because I have got to understand some certain things. Some certain things are not meant to be forced, and some certain things are not meant to be in a fighting way or in a rush way. So that is much more reason. When I feel anger and I talk to you that way, is because I'm going very fast to my head because I really want all this to work as soon as fast. So when some delays are being there, that's why I'm just getting angry. But I try to realize that I don't need to be in a faster way because you're not in that faster way as well. So that is the reason. And that is the much more reason I talk with you. I'm sorry, I'm not that type and I don't like saying soft words in your rush in the mindset of you thinking of um, being bullied and all that. And I said, sorry. Well, quite clearly you are that type. You've done nothing but rant and rave and bully and be foul-mouthed since we first met. So clearly you are that type. What you apparently don't seem to have realised is that you are claiming to be uh, the United States highest ranking military general, a major general. You claim that you're a major general. You really do need to learn how a major general behaves. You know, you could look on YouTube, you'll find videos of major generals speaking and delivering speeches. That will give you a clue about how a high ranking United States, the highest ranking United States military officer behaves and sounds, of course. Like I've told you. I mean, you could look yourself up on YouTube, actually. That's quite interesting. Find some videos of yourself on YouTube. You are on there, you know. Are you done talking? Yes, I am. Can you just stop all this fight? So I suggest you go onto YouTube and watch some of your own videos. Like I said, can you just stop this fight and let's be calm? I'm perfectly calm. It's you that goes off on the on the screaming, shouting, long, ra long winded, ranting, foul mouthed uh, rants. Not me. I'm perfectly calm. That's much more reason than I said. I don't want to be in a haste or manners. You think that I'm just talking like a bully attitude? Yes, you, you have to, you've hate. done nothing but that. You've done nothing but that since we first met. But right here in the war zone, whenever I am in the hall, I do shout, past destruction, I do be on top of my voice. So that sometimes when I'm getting angry, I just begin to be saying, no, that I told you, I am sorry for being in a harsh manner, in a harsh way sometimes when I'm angry. But that is for that. Yes, do, do you not you think that the slightest uh, things make, make you angry, which is most peculiar, do you not think, for a major general? But it's okay. I said, I'm sorry. Can you just stop that? And can we be... Right, and I have repeatedly said to you that saying sorry doesn't change the fact of what has happened. You are a foul mouth ranting bully. Being sorry for it doesn't change the fact that that's what you are and that's the way you've behaved ever since we first met. Then I've told you, I have told you that I haven't been in that manner of talking bully to you anymore. Is that not okay? Well, that will be amazing. As time will tell. As they say, actions speak louder than words. Although, in your case, of course, they will be words, but, you know. That's it. I am being bullied because the major thing that makes you feel I'm a bully about it is because I'm actions. I not really want everything to work out as fast as soon as possible. But with all my clarity and the look of things, you don't really want it to happen the way I want it to happen. So why me trying to force myself to make it happen as soon as possible? Right. So that's, um, that's, what, that's what I've got to understand. So yeah. now, that, now, that you are, that. now that you are calm and coherent, which is unusual, we have to admit that both of those are unusual. Now that you are calm and coherent, you can ex give me a proper sensible answer for why you can't pay for yourself. I believe I've explained this to you before. Yes, that's a bit like me telling you that we've been to that I'm in Dubai, and you then asking me, uh, expecting me to tell you, right? I've taken lessons. Please stop acting like a bo or boorish narcissistic bully. I asked you a question: Why can you not pay for yourself? You want me to explain again and again because I believe I've told you. Will you please stop? Will, but will you please stop acting like a narcissistic bully 
and answer the question, why can you not pay for yourself? The only reason I can't pay for myself, I saw you right here in the war zone. I have some agreement of not making transaction. I even try to make sure I make payment. When I'm over angry, you know when I'm angry, I'm on top of my voice. You said I sound so bully. Then I decided to try means to pay for that. I could pay the payment it went through. Do you know why? It's because of the legal agreement I've signed right here in the war zone. Meaning I can't be doing transactions in the war zone because all I have to be focusing on is for me to clear the peacekeeping mission over here. For me to direct some sergeant and for me to make sure um, my work is up front. So any transaction concerning me and my information are not going to be true because I've already signed the paper agreement. Of course, they have linked everything to the UN database. That's the reason I told you before now. I would have paid. It's not about the money. I got that to pay. I, I'm not a kid. I've been working for years, years now. That I don't have money to pay or to do what to do this. I would have done that. I would have asked you. I would have just sent tells you to send your location where you where you are, your address. And maybe when I landed in England, I would just meet you up to your location. That's what I planned before now. But due to the fact that my transaction are not going well, are not going through because it is already stated in the agreement. That's the reason why. Because I have to check. When I try to check, it shows that agreement have stated clearly that I can't do that right here, except I'm out of the war zone. Maybe when I'm just out of the war zone to another country or nearby my country, I can easily do that. But I can't just live right here if I didn't process the leave document and all that. So that was the reason. Right. That has to be the biggest load of bollocks I've ever heard in my entire life. Any agreement that you sign with the United Nations has absolutely no bearing whatsoever on your bank account. Your bank cannot be guided by a, an agreement you have signed with your employer. Your bank account okay. is a private matter between yourself and your bank. Please give me okay. the login okay. details for your bank account and I'll pay for you. Can I, t can I tell you something? Go on. Tell you something? Go on. The UN do pay me. Do you know that? Well, what a surprise. I'm sure someone pays you. Okay. And they pay me directly to my account. What they a surprise. Of course they, they do. My account details. Yeah, yeah, they got my account details. Of course so they do. There is, there is no need, there is no reason or whatsoever that I can log in my account details right here, then they will make use of it. Okay, how stupid are you? You do realise that the details someone needs to make a payment into your bank are very different from the details that you need to make a payment from your bank. Stop trying to bullshit me, man. Now, can I, I, have, a, can I have the login details for your bank and I will pay for you? That, that's where you're going wrong. No, I'm not going wrong. If you send me the login details to your bank, I, I will make the payment that. for you. That's where you are going wrong. No, I am not going wrong. Send me if, the login details if, to your bank if, account. Listen, listen, listen to me. Yeah. If I can't log in on my account details or I can't search my account details for me to make some transaction, then no one can do that because anything passes the structure. I am dead gone. You said to you me, the, you you said, you you shut the, up. You said to me that you will be able to log into your bank from any country other than the one that you're currently in. I am in a different I, country, so I can I, log into your I, bank. I told you that because I should be, as I am right now, I can't just ask you to send me your login details and I will log in and do all sorts of things. You know why? Yeah, security and all that. So it's not that I'm telling you not to send your details because my details are not directly traded by me because they are locked up with what with the UN. 
Anything no, they're I not. It's your, it's your bank no, account. No, you no, are, no. Shut no. up. Shut up. It is your bank oh, account. God. You are a mature higher ranking officer. If I attempt to log in from a different Can country, you listen to me? No. Can you if just I, listen to no, me? No, I cannot. You are listening to me. Okay. Uh, if I attempt to log in from a different country, I imagine you have two-factor authentication set up. It will send a code to your phone. You can give me that code. I will then log in to your account. I will make the payment for you. You will probably receive a notice on your phone asking you to approve the transaction which you will approve and then the transaction will be made excellent when right so it, please send me the details say, so we can do that when you say, when you say all this sounds so very sweet and simple to you right no, it's not sweet and simple. It's a fact and it's no, the truth. No, I mean, I do, you know, I know when a small boy is lying to me, you're acting like a small boy. Well, you probably are a small boy, let's be honest. You're acting like a small boy and you're lying to me and I really don't like it. you making everything funny. No, it's not funny. Being a lying small boy is not funny. No, I can't work reason, out right? whether you, I can't work out whether you're a small illiterate small boy. Well, I know you're an illiterate small boy, um, or a major general. Well, you're clearly not a major general. You can't even speak properly. And any that, major general, any major general that's... would shut up. Any major general would have realised immediately that those emails from the United United Nations are just illiterate, childish rubbish. You know, I'm surprised you even let them send them to me. You know, such illiterate, childish rubbish from the United Nations is unbelievable. You know, if you can find a colleague that can at least write a, a literate email that might sound as if it actually came from the United Nations, instead of sounding like it was written by a small boy on the streets of this place you've apparently never heard of called Lagos, you know, that, then I might believe it. But at the moment, I don't believe a word you're saying. So please send me the login details for your bank account. That is what you don't know. Every details right here in the war zone are be kept directly restricted from. No, you're not in. A, you're 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 not in. You're not in some mythical place that I, doesn't exist. You're I in Iran. You. you know, Iran is quite a, a an advanced um, country. I think you'll find. You know, we, you, I think you'll find they you even have running you, water and you, electricity. You do, no disrespect you meant me, to Iranians. You do me a favor? Um, can you do me a favor? So I think you'll find you they have online it? banking in Iran. Can you just take a flight and come to Iran? Um, I'm actually in Dubai off. at the moment, but yes, I could fly to Tehran if you like. Then you take a flight and fly to Tehran if that's be the case. Since you think you can do that easily and okay, it can be okay, done. Okay, well, well, when I leave Dubai, I'll fly to Tehran. How about that? You can meet me at the airport. How can I just meet you? You will have to come to the base to see how it looks like. No, I don't think so. I'm sure you can get a taxi or one of your drivers will take you to the airport. You, you, I, I, know, yeah, I know I have to keep I, reminding I, I, you of I who you are. To, I, I, I know I have... Shut up. I can't I, be going... I know I have to keep reminding you of who you are, but you are a major general. I mean, I realise you don't understand what a major general is, but you are the United States highest ranking military officer. You know, all this bullshit about having to ask other people is completely rubbish because they they consult you. You know, you are the highest. Uh, I'll say it. Well, I'll say it. Keep saying it. You are supposed to be the United States highest ranking military officer. I mean, I, the fact that you retired 10 years ago is obviously irrelevant, but, you know, you are meant to be the United States. States highest ranking officer. You can hire you can get a driver from the base to bring you to the airport. I mean that's assuming you know you where that, it is in Tehran. Sounds so funny to you. I don't see how that's funny. That you know, you, are, so you that... are the highest you are the person in overall charge of all the military operations in Tehran, assuming there are any. Um, and you know, so you could easily find a driver to take you to the airport. I mean, assuming you know where Tehran Airport is. I mean, I don't because I've never been there. Uh, I don't suppose you have either. Are you done talking? Yes. So just send me the login details for your bank account and I will pay for you. Like I said, that is not what I can do. As I am right now, I can't tell you to send login details because I can't even log in there. 
Do you know why? Yes, because, because you're in a different wrong. country. You um, already told me that you can access. Listen, you listen, you listen. You're going to change your story, I, I aren't you? Even, That's what's I going to happen. Ask, I can't even ask you for details. When they send me an email, I believe you heard that they send it directly from the UN. Do you know why? Because I have to request for that. Well, it's quite obvious so, those emails not sure. were not sent by the UN, not, isn't it? Yeah. You know, even you as a high-ranking officer sure. must realise what ridiculous, illiterate rubbish those emails were. You know, there's no way that somebody from the UN actually wrote those. Did you write those yourself, you know? I mean, even as I say, you are a high-ranking military officer, you know. You you must know what a proper, mature um, business email sounds like, not that illiterate rubbish. You are, you, you, you are even asking me, do I write those myself? You are accusing me a hundred times. What, what the hell are you even thinking about? Can you even, like, think a little bit straight? Like, right. you, well, you're asking if you me, didn't, do I wrote If those? you didn't write those yourself... Do just think yeah. about me? Okay, well, let's assume oh, that so let's good. assume that you didn't. No, write them. let's not assume. You just accused me. You just accused me. Excuse me. Um, I thought you, you decide, I thought you were, uh, oh, told brother. me you were not going to act. Like Cassandra, 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 I know, I know, I know. You have been, you have been in the, in the state of when you feel that. This right, so you are going to go off on one of your this is what you want bullying it. rants, are you? It's uh, okay, like temper. I told you, like I told you, like I told you. I know you don't want to help me. Just let it be. I will remain where I am, okay? Uh, you don't want to help me. It's okay. Yes. It's okay, Lixteen. That is the truth. I'm not dragging. I'm not dragging. You would have even said it when the first image just came. You, you would have just said it in your mind that I don't want to help. Finish. It's right. not about dragging any. I don't like I don't like when you drag issue, you drag issue from one end to another end. I don't want to help. Simple. No one will beat you. Nobody will kill you. So do not drag anything. It's simple. You can you can be with, be away with your money. Do anything you want with your money. Anything you like, you can do away with it. You say no one will have no problem. We can be communicating. Yes, okay. I can be where I am. Any figure time that uh, that is free for me to live right here, or I have the opportunity to live. I can live. It's okay. I won't ask you for that, and I won't ask you for them. Okay. Simple. You don't need to be dragging up or down telling me do this. You can't pay for yourself. You can't do this yourself. You can't do that. No. Because I already be stressed off about this. I don't want to go to of my voice because of money, because of money that will be used and gone. Anybody that is dead doesn't know about money. Who is alive does the one that know about money. So death comes. People that have died right here in the world, so they die. Then forget what they have. They have billions of Dollars, billions of pounds, billions of euros. They died, leave them in the earth. So we all we're going to die and leave all the fuck them money, right? Here okay. On earth. I thought so we not think, Do not shut think. Up. Do not think. Do not think. Shut you are listening. Listening. You listening. Shut, shut up. You shut up. the fuck up. You <laughs> shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> you listening. Whenever you die, whenever you die, you leave everything on earth. That's the fucking truth. If you, if you matter how you think, you leave it on earth. So if you say you don't want to help, that's the decision. It's not a big deal. It's not a problem. Enjoy the one you can enjoy. Then you can die and you can die and leave the rest for us and everybody that would have to leave it for. I so that is, that is just, oh. so not it's not a big deal. Go, when, go. when I ask you for the help, when I ask you for the help, I send you the details. All you need to do if you really want to help, you send. But if you know you don't want to help, there's no cause of alarm stressing people around saying this just because you want, you want to help you with the sum of 50,000 pounds. That's just bullshit money. But it's just that I'm right there. I can't do that right now. That's the much more reason I'm having all this stress. But it's okay. Like I told you, it's not it's not all about the money. I really have the mindset and I really love you. And I will keep that within my mindset. But talking about me asking you to do something or to pay money to do that, it's okay. I don't need your money. And I swear the UN is the one I need. That's not my bank account. I believe it's the UN account. That's the, the, the account you want to send money to. But all the same, I don't want to stress you about you saying the moment. Like I told you, I don't want to talk about that. Even when Kazana told me, you wrote a voice record telling me I'm stupid. You don't want to send money. I believe you people cook that up. So, but it's okay. Don't send me. Don't send the UN the money. Okay? I am okay. And I'm still living where I was still trying to do all possible things before. I get out of the walls and it's okay. 
let them fight about it because of the money. Because all these ranting, many, many words, saying you have to do this, same number, she talk to me, she want to talk to me, your, 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 your so-called daughter, Elo Kansala, that just came just two days ago, that you haven't seen for how many years. You just have the faith, uh, this is what he's saying is good. She talk to me, telling me all sort of words. Later on, we have to go to the bank, send money, 150 pounds or that. That's such a pussy thinking about ah this person is a kid, this person is a clean boy, it's not the type of general you wanted to know. Thought all that are just so rubbish, but I don't care. So what I want to do is don't worry about sending money or all that. You can eat your money, be be what you want to be, do what you want to do, advance your business, do anything. But remember that a day will come, you leave all that aside and be gone. You won't even know where they are. That is life. I, I mean, I take up front. I don't take back front. So if you're doing something, you do it that, yes, I want to do it. Not that you are asking questions, ranting, making stressful attitude from one end to another end. That's part of bullshit, and it's not done. I believe you people pay fried ticket from yeah, England to Dubai. You know how much you guys spent for, uh, for tickets to Dubai? And maybe from there you're coming back to England. If you can you can decide to go to USA today, you go to US anytime you wanted, you do your things. You pay, you spend money. That is what many money is meant to be to be done to. So if you said you know there's no problem, like I told you, I already have that feelings and the mindset towards you. I already like your type of person. That's why I do I'm top of my voice due to the fact that I'm getting angry when you stress me with words of sending money. As if Money is just paper. It can bond. I can bond a lot of money on the ground. I, some money I've bond through, bond them, bond them to to axis. So it's only when it is used that is the usage. So it doesn't matter. So I'm not telling you that ah you should do this or you should do that or I'm forcing you. Because I've came to realize that you are the one that is stretches cancer to do all that. So but it's okay. And I'm happy that I understand and I've understood your own point of view due to the fact that you feel that what other person said is the truth, not what I said. You never for once, you say, ah, oh, this person is saying, saying this, or maybe it's not correct, this thing is not correct. Then you can't even just do something, ah, let me do it to see. You didn't. Why? Because you feel that you have all the old money in your in the life, you can enjoy yourself, you can do what you want to do anytime death came, you die and leave everything. Doesn't care whether you use it to do one or two things, to so make sure someone regain help from it. And that help will be of a favor to you as well. But all the same, it's okay. I won't bother you of any payment. But the first thing remains that I do love you and we'll be communicating, but that's okay. Okay? So do not think, maybe, do not be bothered about uh, uh, this thing. Go and bring this thing first. Go and do this. Go and bring this. And uh, want to talk to this. Want to do that. I've tried all my possible best on a fish. The UN have tried their possible best to do that on a fish. You feel that all what they are saying is nothing. All because you want to send fucking money. That's just a fucking money, I must say. If you think that it's, it's a whole lot of money that will pull out a building or will pull out something, that's fucking Money is nothing. I just want you to realize this today that money, money is nothing. You have it, you use it. That's just it. When you don't have it, you find it, you get it, you use it. But when you're gone, you can't see it to use. Whether you have 100 billions of pounds in your bank account, bank account or a, in an investment package or anything, once you are dead gone, Everything is gone. You don't know where there is. Other people that did not even warrant for it, other people that did not even ask for it, will be using it. The government that did not even ask for it will be using it. People that didn't ask, ask for it will be using it. That's it. So you better get that. So I'm not going to stress you about you sending money. If you want to send, send. If you don't, send, no problem. And I don't even want to stress you about that. Like I told you, I want to be calming my nerves down because I believe money comes and go. That is it. You just be, look like when someone grows, when someone is, has been giving back to, he grows to a stage and later on when he gets older, he or she dies. That is it. 
but money still remain on earth. No matter how you spend it, you spend it to east, you spend it to west, you spend it to south, it still remain money on ground. So you like, you feel like don't send in if you like you be asking question of this, asking question of this, talking about street people. I don't know what you are talking about. But all the same, I am okay. I'm not forcing you to make payment or to do anything, okay? Be where you are. Enjoy your Dubai trip with your your Elo, your daughter Elo and your son. I'm so happy you've met your son and that is the greatest joy a mother should have. A son that you left for six months, you saw him. Ah, that's so wonderful. And I'm very happy with you. And I'm happy that it's the period that you met. That's the period this great news came. I believe you don't understand that. You don't understand the grace. You don't understand the grace in me. The period you met me, you imagine the great news you feel. You said you received a request from your son. You talked to him. I believe she came, he, he or he and his wife came to you, visited you. I believe that hasn't occurred since. Even when you talk about one person called Frederick and all that, that doesn't occur. But this time around, it occurs in my time. You can't even feel the grace in it. That, ah, this is what I, I see when the time being and being with this person. You are just telling me, ah, uh, our relationship is back. His end and this and that. Do that even sound good to you when you are saying it from a mindset? Did you even try to think to think, ah, when I met this person, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is what happened. Have you to feel some changes between the time you met me when we started writing on Facebook before we become here on Skype? When you begin to be telling me good news, is that what occurs come? What is the greatest news have you even have for the past? 40 to 30 something years now is it not for you to see your son coming to your house for the past how many years and that time the day you met your son now is the time you met me online you spoke to me i will celebrate the joy that yes your son is back home the son that you never knew that you will see you see him now face to face fresh to fresh are you not happy so what is money that you think you have and I said you should send. You are making me feel stressful talking about this, talking about that. You are matured enough to know that I want you to something. You do some certain things because you want to do them because you are happy. Can you even type, thank the grace that you are into? Then you are angry, you are asking this, you are asking that. Well, like I said, you should calm your nerves down. Everything is okay. I love you. I will continue to I will continue to love you. Okay? That's will be it. I think I have to talk to one of the scientists at the door. I will test you. Okay? Right. I thought we agreed. Okay. Yes, okay. I thought we agreed that you were not going to go off on another foul mouthed bullying rant. So, as I said uh, earlier on, when you said it wouldn't happen again, actions speak louder than words because it already has happened again. So, obviously, I don't believe you when you tell me that it won't happen again because it just did. You know why? You know why? Do you know why I told you it would happen again? I yes, told you that. You were lying to me, obviously. Listen, I told you that because I made my statement clear. But do you know why I just tried to explain myself to you? I don't want the issue of this money issue to come. That's why I just have to explain myself to you. Because I know that you, you never knew. There are some certainties happening to you in this in, in, in stage of life. There are people you, see, you feel that they come around you. There are some certain things that come with it. It's better you realize those, those things. Because when you realize those things, good things will surely continue to come. But when you let, let those people, he sorted them, telling them they are rubbish, they are nonsense, they are not human, they are this, and you are talking to a human being directly, you are saying they are not human, they are this, then you are getting wrong. And if I may ask you, are you not happy to see your son alive? A son that you left six months to someone, then the person wrote to you on Facebook, sending you a friend request, then 
eventually between the week came to visit you are you not happy is that not your greatest happiness in the world can't you even give like like two to three thousand million pounds if you have it to get the joy you get but it came whenever when you did not expect it is that not a good news that is a great news and when i heard it from you i was so very very happy that makes you fulfilled i was so very very happy and now it came that news came with the period of time when you met me online did you can't you just for once Oh, try not to stress me when I ask you for something. Will you stress me? But because of that, you can even use that joy, that grace, that love, that happiness, that fresh happiness that has came when you have waited, when you have lost hope. I would you even lost hope that you will see your son in life before death comes? I would you lost hope? But finally, God bring it, or what you believe bring it, and you saw it. They see the period you saw it. The period you saw it you met me online. But you didn't regard that. You feel that everything is just like that. So I'm not dragging anything with you. I'm just making a sense for that. That's the reason why I be on top of on top of my voice to be sounding bully like what you said. Because I just want to make you understand that that's all. But there's no problem. Like I said, I won't drag the body for that. You should give me any money or how to do one or two things for me to approve you and leave. Okay? I love you. You can keep your money to yourself. Enjoy. Do anything you want to do with it. I won't stress you for sending me money and all that. Okay? So you shouldn't be worried about that. But I love you. I will keep on talking to you because I really do love you. And I want your happiness to remain safe and to remain good. Okay? Right. That's for that. Explain to me why. As a major general, as I repeatedly remind you, the United States highest ranking officer, you appear to be unable to know that those emails from the sergeant agent who didn't even have the courtesy to sign his name are completely illiterate, meaningless rubbish. Why were you not able to spot that immediately? In fact, why did you why were you so discourteous as to allow them to send them to me? Like I said, if I am going back to what you are explaining for, it's not as if you want to start all over the whole conversation. No, it's and a very simple question. Why were no, you unable to realize that they are totally meaningless, illiterate rubbish? And why did why were you so discourteous as to send them to me? Why did why did you not, as the United States highest ranking officer, immediately contact the United Nations and ask them to remove the person that sent those and find somebody that could at least write something sensible in English? That's a question. It doesn't require another long rant. It simply requires an answer. Why did you not immediately spot that those were meaningless, illiterate rubbish? Do you know why? I'm, I'm sure you're going to tell me. Because I am not into his emails. What I'm into is my leave. You I were into the emails. You forwarded, I, the, you forwarded them to I, you. You I must have read them. them. I, yes, I forwarded them to me. Yes. So I why were you unable know. to realize that it was meaningless, illiterate drivel before forwarding it to me? Yeah, I don't care about reading it too much. You know why? Because I'm already really angry about the fact that... Oh, you mean you, you, forwarded, me, you forwarded me an email you hadn't even bothered to read? Is that what you're saying? Because, because I know... Only I just read a few lines that is disapproved too. Right. So far that, um, if you read a few uh, lines, so why, were, not, why were you not able to shut up? Shut up. If you read a few lines, why were you not able to realize it was illiterate, meaningless drivel? As I say, why did you? Why were you so discourteous as to forward them to me in the first place? I'm so sorry, but I forwarded it to you for you to know because I believe you don't know. So I have to tell you, I have to forward it to you for you right. to understand. Right. And why did you accept such illiterate, meaningless drivel from the United Nations? I think you need to write, well, uh, you don't need to write to them. You need to call whichever contact you have at the United Nations. Get whichever illiterate moron wrote those removed from 
whatever duties there are, like presumably clean toilets or clean the kitchen sink or something, um, and get a proper employee to write you a proper sensible email that sounds as if it came from a proper educated person that is employed by the United oh, States. Yeah. I find it absolutely oh, yeah. unbelievable that you, as the United States highest ranking officer, allegedly, and I don't believe that, allegedly didn't realise that those Every single one of those emails is totally meaningless. There's not a single okay. one of them that even means anything. Okay. So not only okay. so not only did you forward me meaningless drivel, you expected me to read to read them and take some kind of action on emails that were totally and utterly meaningless. Not a single one of those meant anything. So either try again, grow up, or at least find someone that can write a, a semi-literate email. And please okay. no accept rubbish like that from well they obviously didn't come from united nations did it you either wrote it yourself or your mate wrote it i mean let's be honest there's no way that came from the united nations unless you really are stupid well i mean i know okay. you really are stupid obviously but you know okay yes okay like, like well, I just I put said, it another way you've been rumbled pal like I said, I agree. Which will be good for the video, because people always tell me I should do that. I mean, not that I actually like to do that. And I realise you have no understanding of what I'm saying. So it's gone straight over your head, hasn't it? Like I said, I agree yes, with I all what you said. Yes, I'm sure you have. Not. <laughs> so, like I said, I agree on what you said. Awesome. There's no, there's no need... There's no need for, for me to be saying all this. Like I said... No, so if there's no I need for you to be saying all this, you can shut up once in your life. That'll be awful, won't it? Anyway, I'm going to leave you to decide what you want to do next. You know, you can either find someone at the United Nations or at least, you know, somebody in your same town as you that can write a, a, at least an email that's literate enough to sound as if it might have come from the United Nations and that actually means something. That would be awful. You know, read it through before you send it and find somebody that speaks English. Ask them if it actually means something before you send it. That would be good. You know, all that rubbish about there being a huge it, cost that's just child Like, like, like I said, I'll say there's no need. No, yeah. well, if there's no need, that's fine. You can stay where you are, you know. Uh, Enjoy the rest of your life in Tehran, because I really think I've had enough of you. As I say, I, I have no wish to have a relationship with such a foul-mouthed, ranting bully as yourself anyway. I mean, imagine it over breakfast. It would take two hours just to eat a slice of toast while you rambled on to yourself about nothing. No really, problem, you know? no problem. Thank you. I understand. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Take care. Okay. Yes, and you. Goodbye for now. Once the call had ended, I signed out of Skype, signed back into my regular account and ignored him. Both Lola and I agreed that we'd had enough of him and that the bait was going nowhere. So that was the end of Eric Todd Hill. I think that last call from him was an absolute demonstration of gaslighting in action. This man is a nasty, narcissistic, evil gaslighting bully. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like it, please share it, please comment down below, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in another video.